This past April, a six-year-old DoorDash driver from Holyoke was pulled out of her vehicle, pepper sprayed, and arrested by police after a traffic stop for her broken headlight. Maddie Soldriach was charged and faced injuries from the incident. A lawsuit has recently been brought against the Northampton Police Department with Driach's attorney stating that Driach's ethnicity and being a native Spanish speaker played a major role in the brutality of the arrest. This incident once again calls into question the ways the police should interact with the community. We spoke to local organization Northampton Abolition Now and State Representative Lindsay Sabadosa to understand the impact of this incident. As mayor of Northampton, I expect the Northampton Police Department to conduct themselves with respect and professionalism. While an internal and an outside independent investigation found no violations in the April 4th stop, it is clear to me that a slower, more considered interaction and more effective communication could have avoided the escalation of the situation. I was very concerned to see the situation escalate to such a degree on the video and strongly disagree with how the officer handled it. I thank Police Chief Casper for her prompt and thorough action to review and investigate the incident and the shift commander for immediately reporting the event so that no time was lost in investigating it and addressing the de-escalation and effective communication strategies we expect from officers. I am grateful that there was a WatchGuard cruiser video that recorded the stop and allowed for a visual review and documentation of the interaction. As there is pending litigation, I cannot comment further at this time. In the statement to the Hampshire Gazette, Police Chief Jody Casper stated, quote, Our community expects and deserves that we meet high professional standards. In this case, we did not meet those standards. Officer Selu could have and should have done a better job handling this matter, end quote. Chief Casper declined to comment further to us due to the pending civil litigation. Officers Selu and Bartlett were found not guilty of any wrongdoing, according to an internal assessment carried out in June by Comprehensive Investigations and Consulting, LLC. I do think that the Northampton Police Department has a history of bias against uh, Latino individuals and all BIPOC people and poor communities and queer communities and houseless communities in Northampton. The reason that our organization, Northampton Abolition Now, is fighting for police abolition in particular is because the very roots of police themselves are rotten. The institution of policing came to be because there were slave catchers who were trying to return Black people fleeing for freedom to the South. Then the other reason police were created was to actually bust unions and stop people from being able to organize for living wages. And so the institution of policing has always been about the protection of property and profit over people. And the Northampton Police Department is no different. The response to the recent incident of police brutality in Northampton has led to a great deal of public outcry from my constituents. Um, they've really expressed a lot of frustration um, because this is exactly the type of event that they don't want to see happen. Uh, the driver of the vehicle was not, you know, not being violent. It, there were linguistic barriers that were not overcome. There was probably some cultural competency and the situation escalated really quickly. And I think a lot of people saw that and thought, you know, that could be me or that could be a family member. Um, so there was a lot of self-identification that happened. Even people who write, you know, I'm very pro-police. I, I don't have a problem with the police in general, but I really don't think this incident was handled well. The shortest track to less police violence is simply less contact with police. It's it's not trying to mess with the institution and get better trained. They've shown that that actually doesn't work over time. It's not effective. Um, better policies are not effective. Better complaint processes are not effective. Civ civilian review boards are not effective. And the way we lessen regular contact that people have to have with police is by defunding the police, a violent institution, and investing in programs that actually help people and support them. Peer-led mental health services, harm reduction, healthy food, health care, good transportation, affordable housing. Um, and that's actually all the city needs to do. Um, if they're willing, and it would produce amazing results for so many community members, it would lessen the violence. Um, but it, it seems that Mayor Shiara and a lot of city councilors were not up to the task this last budget cycle. I'm not sure that we can legislate our way out of this, but that's where police training comes in. You know, the legislature can't handle that very tangible um, teaching people how to react in very tense situations. So I really think that this boils back down to making sure that we are implementing programs and giving police departments the tools to change this type 
of behavior. Um, and that, you know, when police departments are hiring people that they're able to, to understand the training that they've received and whether that person is a good fit for the department. This is a stressful job and you're going to be put under intense pressure. And if your response under intense pressure is to lash out, then this might not be the best fit. We also reached out to Driach's attorney, Dana Goldblatt, who did not respond for comment at this time. Thanks for watching and see you next week.